Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Brunson and I'm going to read your bedtime story tonight. The title of the story is A Little Girl and a Poor Frail Lady. This is the story of Jairus' daughter from Luke 8. There once was a little girl who didn't get out of bed one morning, or the next, or the next. In fact, she didn't get out of bed for a whole month. She was very sick and no one knew how to make her better. Jairus was her daddy and he loved her. One day he was sitting by her bed, holding her hand, wishing there was something he could. I know, he said. He jumped to his feet, put on his coat, kissed his daughter, ran down the step, 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 steps, past the servants, out of the house, through the gates, along the road, into the town, up the steps, 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 and into the temple. He fought his way through all the people until at last he found who he was looking for. Here is a beautiful picture. You can see he's running out of his house and down the steps. And up the steps into the temple. Jesus, he said, falling at Jesus' feet. My daughter, he pleaded, please. But he didn't need to beg because before he'd even finished speaking, Jesus reached out his hand and helped him up. I'll come at once, Jesus said. Jairus' eyes filled with tears. Jesus was coming. It would be all right. In those days, of course, they didn't have ambulances, so they had to go by foot. Jesus' helpers knew that he would help heal the sick girl, but they must hurry. If Jesus didn't get there soon, it would be too late. But everyone was in the way, hustling and bustling and jostling and pressing and pushing and shoving and squishing and squashing. The disciples ran ahead, forcing back the crowd. Suddenly, Jesus stopped. His friends looked back. What was he doing? Who touched me? Jesus asked, because he felt power go out of him. Me, said a frail lady, looking down at the ground because she was ashamed. The poor lady had been sick for 12 years, and she just had to get well. She knew if she only touched Jesus' coat, she would be healed. So she touched his coat, and instantly she was well. Here's a picture of her and Jesus. And here is a picture of the disciples holding back the crowds. We don't have time, Jesus' friends said, but Jesus always had time. He reached out his hands and gently lifted her head. He looked into her eyes and smiled. You believed, he said wiping a tear from her eye, and now you are well. Just then, Jairus' the servant, servants rushed up to Jairus. It's too late, they said breathlessly. Your daughter is dead. Jesus turned to Jairus. It's not too late, Jesus said. Trust me. Here's another picture. At Jairus' house, everyone was crying. But Jesus said, I'm going to wake her up. Everyone laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Jesus walked into the little girl's bedroom, and there, lying in the corner in the shadows, was a still little figure. Jesus sat on the bed and took her pale hand. Honey, he said, it's time to get up. And he reached down into the death and gently brought the little girl back to life. The little girl woke up, rubbed her eyes as if, she, as if she just had a good night's sleep, and leapt out of the bed. Jesus threw open the shutters and sunlight flooded the dark room. Hungry? Jesus asked. And she nodded. Jesus called to her family, bring this little girl some breakfast. Jesus helped and healed many people like this. 
He made blind people see. He made deaf people hear. He made lame people walk. Jesus was making the sad things come untrue. He was mending God's broken world. Here's a picture of Jesus in the little girl's room. And the final picture. I love this picture. So let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for having time with our family and allowing us to stay home and just enjoy the things that are in our house and the people that we live with. Jesus, help heal the people that are sick and help the, the non-believers to please see that you're there. They need to trust you. And Jesus, protect everyone as they sleep and put your arms around these little children and just let them know how loved they are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Until next time, boys and girls, have a good night.